Welcome back to the floor. I'm Heather Myers. In the midst of a pandemic, it's not easy to find another job. And there are people out there who may feel like they're trapped in a toxic work environment. Maybe they're dealing with what they consider to be a toxic coworker and wondering what they do and how to cope. Linda DeRay is the author of Surviving the Toxic Workplace. She's joining us live with what people need to know. First of all, Linda, good afternoon. Glad you're here. Nice to be here. Thank you so much. Let's just jump right into this. What do you consider to be the definition of a toxic work environment? Oh, there are so many definitions. People who steal your ideas, people who sexually harass you, um, make life difficult, are passive aggressive, don't give you messages when you want them, uh, block your entrance to meetings, uh, count you out of the email thing. They are mean spirited, they are nasty, and they are absolutely awful to work with. Unfortunately, I think there's a lot of people out there who could say that at one point or another, they've worked with somebody just like you described, or sadly may currently work with somebody like that. What do they do, especially in the midst of a pandemic, the last thing people want to do right now is quit their job? Well, in this kind of economy, it's very difficult. However, there are lots of good alternatives. First of all, um, I think uh, to read my book is a really good idea because it gives people specific information about how to communicate with difficult people and what your alternatives are. So if you're having trouble at work and it's a physical issue, you can report them to OSHA. You can get an attorney. You can file a lawsuit. If it's affecting everybody in the company, it can be a class action lawsuit. You can learn to work for yourself. You can uh, start an internet company since everything is now uh, with the internet, which is fine. You, there are lots of alternatives. And I think the big issue is keep a positive attitude. Don't get uh, depressed. Don't turn into Eeyore. Keep thinking about all your skills and how you can make money from them and serve the planet in a positive way. Would you ever uh, advise somebody to confront the person that they're having trouble with? And if they are brave enough to do that, what should they say? Right. I always say use the sandwich technique, which is give them a compliment. You know, Bob, I really like working with you and not but and then you go to the feedback. You don't call it criticism. And Bob, your reports are late. And if you don't get on the bandwagon here with the time, you're throwing everybody off. So do you need an assistant? Tell us what you need because we really want to help you. And third part, if you don't do this, you might have to either find another job or be transferred to a different company, or you're just slowing everybody down and that's really not what we want. So we want you to get on board because you're a good person and we like to have you on the team. So use that sandwich so, technique when you are- One, two, three, okay. the sandwich. Got it, I know you have a lot more in your book. Again, it's called Surviving the Toxic Workplace. Linda Dore, we do appreciate your time and your expertise on the topic, thank you. Thank you so much, appreciate being on, thank you.